Shauna Shippen at Charter Oak High School in beautiful Covina, California, where the Brentwood Eagles have taken the long drive down the 10 to face the Northview Vikings in their first playoff game of the year. That's 8 and 2 Brentwood and White getting ready for knockout football, the Southern Section Playoffs. On this night, on the road with a tall order against the 9 and 1 Covina Northview. Early on, Brentwood at their own 44. Their quarterback, Eli Stern, drops, looking for a friendly. But that's where things get interesting. Eli with the magnificent scramble, and he's in the Northview secondary. Stern outruns every guy in a dark shirt, and Brentwood has a touchdown on the 56-yard keeper. And the visitors lead it 7-zip early. Going the other way, Northview has an answer. His name is Alex Camacho. Shaking tackles and safe on the head first lead to the goal line. Camacho helps the home team knock things up at lucky sevens. Still first quarter, Brentwood pushes down to the Northview 30 and they strike here. Stern drops and zips one to Xander Carlson. Xander makes a nice grab and then he's got a nice waltz to the end zone. It's a 30-yard pitch and catch and Brentwood leads it 14-7 after a quarter. Late second quarter tied at 14s, but not for long. That's because Northview gives it to Camacho and Alex gets his touchdown on again. This time it's an 11-yard rumble and the home team leads at recess. 21 to 14. Third quarter, Northview doubles their advantage. Camacho the blocking back this time as he clears brush for a fellow tailback, Elijah Grijalva. Elijah is in, standing up on the six yard score. Northview leads it 28 to 14, mid third. Brentwood answers on a broken play. Stern rolls right and can't find anyone on a pattern, but Austin Blagtrout was there on the safety valve and he's got some open pasture to cover. Austin angles towards the corner pylon of the 20 yard touchdown catch and the visitors are right back in it at 28 to 21. Early fourth, here's where the wheels come off for Brentwood. Punting deep in their own end, the snap is high and it's a scramble to corral the pigskin. Brentwood finally gets off a short punt, but Northview gets it at about the 20 and a short field to negotiate. And the guys in the dark shirts make it hurt quickly. From the one, it's Grijalva following the beef up front and getting over the line for his second score of the game. Northview ups their lead to 35 to 21 with 10 minutes left in the ball game. Six minutes left, Northview ices it here. Grijalva right up the gut and nobody in a white shirt can slow him down. Elijah with his third score of the night, this one from 20 yards out. And Northview leads it 42 to 21 on the way to a 49 to 21 first round playoff win. Northview gets Montebello in the next round. Brentwood, a good season, but done for the year at 8-3. I'm here with Xander Carlson tonight. Xander, you guys came out strong in the first half. Tell me what was going through your mind. You know, we had such, such a strong beginning, and, you know, I, I don't know, just in our minds, we, we thought we could win the game, but, you know, just a few things got out of hand. We had some injuries, you know. We had some a fumble snap. Um, but, you know, I, I think we, we have so much heart as a team, yeah. and we really, we really love each other, and I think we played a, a, a strong emotional game and just got a little out of hand second half. You were all over the field tonight. You made a touchdown, followed that by with a tackle, and then after that, you know, you made an awesome punt. Tell me, you know, how are you all over the field? Uh, you know, I just try my best. You know, you're a junior, it's not over for you. What are you going to do in the off season to improve your game? I'm definitely going to try to put on some pounds. You know, hopefully I grow a few inches the next year. Um, we got to recruit a quarterback. So anybody out there wants to play some quarterback for our team, please. We, would, we need one for next year, but it looks like we got, we're going to have a really strong team next year. And uh, yeah, I'm just probably going to run some track maybe, get, get faster. And yeah. Sounds good. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm standing here with Coach and Eli, quarterback for the Brentwood Eagles. You guys came out strong in the first quarter. What made you guys so strong when you first came out? Well, I mean, we knew all season we, had, we struggled coming out fast from the gate. We always picked it up a little slow, so we knew that was something we had to... Um, we had to pick up on and this is a really good running team so we thought if we could uh, get ahead of them make them pass the ball we get a we get a pretty solid grasp on the game so that's that's really was our gameplay coming through uh, we felt coming in we could throw the ball on them and I think we were successful there in the first half we had 
we had good success doing that. Second half, we did two. We had three turnovers that killed us. Yeah, you guys fell down uh, at the ha at halftime, but you know you kept a full throttle all night. Um, it, they, they had a hard time containing you in, the, in that third quarter. You made that amazing 15-yard gain, and then after that, a 24-yard run where you did an acrobatic move. Are these just things you keep, you know, in your skill set on hand? I mean, um, <laughs> I've, I've been I've been hampered. Uh, I I hurt my leg for the past couple games. I wasn't really myself, but. Today it felt really great to get my legs back, and I just opened it up. And you know, this is all or nothing, so you had to bring everything you could from your toolbox. Yeah. So. All or nothing is right. You're a senior. You know, this is your first and last playoff game of the year. Just tell me how you're feeling. Um, you know, it's been a grind all season, but I've never had more fun and been closer with any group of guys. Um, they're all my brothers to me, and you know, it's going to be hard. Moving on and not playing with these guys and, and my coach. What are your plans moving forward? Um, just recently, I've gotten a little bit more um, attention to play some football, but I'm still I'm still leaning toward playing maybe wide receiver in an Ivy League or quarterback somewhere else. Yeah. Sounds good. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, I'm standing here with Eli Grijalva. Eli, your team just won and you're moving on to the next playoff game. Tell me, you guys came out really strong in the second half. Yeah, you know, we had a plan coming into the game. We just had to pound the ball. Our, our offensive coordinator, he knew what we were going to do the whole game. We just ran behind the lineman and got our yards. You had two awesome touchdowns at the end there, and you just pushing through and pushing through. You know, where do you find your strength? You know, I, I just work hard on in the offseason during practice. And that's, that's how I get my yards. Are you going to prepare for the next playoff game? You know, we're going to watch film during uh, school and we're just gonna we're gonna get ready mentally and we'll be fine awesome thanks thank you take me through how where you get your strength from well coach had a great game plan again i say this a lot but it's true lion played great everybody really wanted this w and we came out and got it as simple as that honestly you guys were up at the half how did you keep it going all night long? You were full throttle the whole night. Well, in the first half, they played a good. They played a good game. We played good. We knew we had to play better in the second half. We're a second half team. We came out. We did our job. We played harder than they did, and we got the W. You guys were grinding through, especially in that second half. Are you going to do the same thing in the next game for the next playoff game, or? Well, next playoff game plan is come out full throttle and just beat them. It seems to give a big personality. Do you bring your team up together? You know, like. Do you get them going at the halftime, or what is well, it? Well, before the game and after the game, I try to get the team happy, keep their spirits up, even no matter what the score is, and make sure we're on a positive vibe together and we have great chemistry together. All right, I'm standing here with Jerron Reed. Jerron, you guys just won your first playoff game of the year. How'd you do it? Um, we just worked together as a team. We came together as one unit. We ran the ball well. We passed it when we needed to. In defense, we came up with major stops. So Brentwood, uh, his quarterback, you guys had a little bit of a tough time containing him, but I know that you got a few sacks on the day. How'd you do it? Um, I just stayed outside and waited for him to come to me. What message do you want to send to your next team that you play in the playoffs? Swarm! Swarm! I'm standing here with Paul Cooper. Paul, you just won your first playoff game of the year. Tell me how you're feeling. I feel good. Real, real confident to going in to the next round, the next round, the next round. Paul, you're safety, and I heard that you got a few interceptions during the day. How'd you do it? I just kept watching the quarterback. I knew he was going to make that mistake and, and look me down. He did, and he let the ball go, and I went and got it. Tomorrow, uh, next week is a big game. It's your second playoff game. It's going to be an away game. How do you change your game plan? Just get ready to just go out there and just attack. We, we got to be ready to go away. You guys really came out in the second half, and you full throttle. You know, how are you going to keep it up for the first half and come out strong? We got to just get that second half mindset. Coach always tells us, just give that effort and just get ready. We got to come out with that mindset first half. Did Coach say anything to you at halftime to make you guys come out and stronger and faster? He just told us, like, they're not ready and they don't want it. Just come out and just go. Well, you guys seem really confident. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shauna Shippen here with Mark Freelander. Mark, we just watched the Vikings take down Brentwood Eagles 49 to 21. What do you thought? What's your thoughts about the game? Well, I'm really surprised that it was such a blowout at the end because the first half was really close. It was exciting. I was totally convinced it was going to come down to the last play. And when I saw what happened in the fourth quarter, uh, it seemed like Brentwood just ran out of steam. Yeah, Northview came out of the gate after the half after halftime, and they went full throttle and. 
Brentwood just couldn't catch up. Well, I think it showed that one team's defense was stronger than the other team's offense. And Brentwood is an offensive juggernaut. They are a strong team. But we saw a dynamic defensive performance by the Northview Vikings tonight. They weren't letting them get away with anything after those long plays in the first quarter. They figured them out, and they, they, they kept stopping them. Not to mention that run game. They just kept trudging oh down the God. field and running it hard. And I can't think of any passes. I'm sure there were some passes, yeah, but I don't that, remember. I actually don't think that. I mean, that was just hard-nosed, grinded-out well, football, and that's what football's all about. Yeah, and on the other side, on Eli Stern for uh, Brentwood, he made some beautiful long passes, and he also did those acrobatics down the field. Yeah, the problem was this isn't the kind of game for that. And there are games when that sort of play creates a dominance in one team, just really beats the other. This wasn't one of those games. When you're playing a tough Stanford-like team like this, you have to be strong. You have to gut it out with them. And, uh, you know, just one team was bigger, you know? Yeah. What can you say? They're 9-1. and one. Now they're 10-1. and one. They're strong. They might go to the championship game. We'll see. Yeah, uh, Northview, they, uh, they're a fun team. You could tell after the game that they really, they just, they call each other brothers. They love each other. You know, their next opponent has something coming for them. Well, if a team's going to win, they have to look at themselves as a family, especially in the playoffs. This is the best teams left. And uh, this team was enthusiastic. And it's funny, they, they, their personality is so fun afterwards, but during the game, they look like oh, just yeah. tough Rough dudes tumble, that'll yeah. knock the heck out of you. So, but whatever. Okay, so basically, uh, I think it was a great game. Uh, I was enjoyed being here. I love working with the great Shauna Shipman. It was a fun game. And we'll see what Northridge does in the final. I think they can, or in the playoffs, I think they can make it to the finals. It's always a pleasure, Mark. Again, I'm Shawna Shippen from Charter Oak High School, where the Vikings of Northview have beaten the Brentwood Eagles 49-21. to In Covina, I'm Shawna Shippen reporting for Cox High School Sports on Demand, powered by Max Preps.